are you guys ad ad supported? We are. Yeah, we have a. We actually have now about forty people in New York City. We run our ad sales out of New York City. Is it all ads in the in the bar? It's in the bar. Yeah, um, we have this ad unit in that bar that uh, since it doesn't scroll, the bar is permanently on yeah. the page. Um, it gets a one percent engagement rate, which is about ten times the industry average for mm -hmm. an engagement rate on engagement an ad. Engagement clicking, or uh, meaning either a two and a half second mouse over or a click. Okay. But then we actually so that's only... compared to like dis uh, display ads, which I think have you said like a point two. Like a point two click one, rate yeah, it depends on the ad point one point two. Um, but then the the most important thing about our ad unit is that when a user enters the unit, so if they have clicked or rolled over for two and a half seconds, it brings up rich media. The average user spends forty five to sixty seconds with the rich media, mm -hmm. right? So from a brand's perspective, they can actually create an emotional experience with that rich media. So it's you know almost twice the length of a television commercial. Mm -hmm. So you think about like Dosaki's most interesting man in the world. Like, you know what that is, right? You have an emotion mm -hmm. about it. Well, you can't deliver that by a banner. Mm -hmm. You can only deliver it with rich media, but you need the person to stay for long enough. So your ads are really more than in the sort of video ad space. Then. Video, games, product selectors. It's it's basically brands can build anything they want. And they aren't ads that, that are um, you can just sort of get off the shelf from Google AdWords no, or something. Yeah, so you have no, to we had sales. to build our own sales team uh, to go out there and work with brands. You think that's good or, I mean? You know, it's hard to start, right? Because if you're doing something that's kind of a new format that's different, it's much harder to start. But I think the best monetization for a product is you look at how does, how does a user use my product? And then you build monetization that fits that product usage. So like in Google, you're looking for stuff. So we'll show you more of what you're looking for, right? Mm -hmm. In Mebo, what we noticed is people spend a lot of time with Mebo because it's the social thing and social things you spend a lot of time with. So we leverage time to not annoy users, right? But rather put an ad there that eventually they'll notice in the bar, right? And if they're interested, they'll enter. And that's why it's got 45 to 60 seconds. Yeah. I always wonder with this, you know, with so people always talk about the spending gap, which yeah. is, you know, the gap between something like eight percent of brand. I don't know if the number of the numbers ten percent now of brand yeah. advertising spent online. Yet people let people spend far more percent of their time online, yep. and you know, the hope in our industry, right, is that that yep. that um, yep. that that gap will close. Yep. Um, you know, it's clear to me that on Twitter or maybe Mebo that, that if you have a really popular thing like Toy Story three, people yep. like to share that. Yep. But how do you? You know, how does Procter and Gamble sell a, you know, toothpaste or even worse, like you know, some other product that something you just aren't likely to sh want, yep. like some pharmaceutical product you aren't li likely to want to share? Yep. We we've seen it. So yeah. um, actually, one of when we first created our ad unit, um, we were like, okay, we know it could work for movies or video games. Mm -hmm. Let's make it work for something more like you know shampoo. Yeah, yeah. So actually, one of our first advertisers was uh, Herbal Essences, which is a, a PNG mm -hmm. uh, it's a, in a shampoo. Um, and what they did is they did a kind of product selector. It was like, hey, what kind of hair do I have? Right? Oh, I have dry hair. Mm -hmm. I have regular hair. I have oily hair. And then it was, okay, here's the shampoo that's right for you. So you could actually learn about it. And then you could see videos of people yes, kind yeah. of talking. So there are ways to make that stuff engaging. Um, so as it's not long just. So it's not going to be canvas. just. I see. So it's not. But it's not. But it's. It's clear. It's not just going to be. You take your TV ads and you pop them over you, on you the can't web. You can just pop them over on the web. You know, the the web traditionally has done a bad job for brands. Right. You have not been able to connect with people. Well, direct response advertising story. has gone crazy on the direct, web with Google and awesome. brand is, is the web still has emerging. Killed it yeah, yeah. In direct response. In brand, you need to be able to tell a story. You need to be able to connect with people emotionally. Yeah. Right. And just now. Ad units like Mebo's ad unit, video ad mm -hmm. units, those are just beginning to make that possible for brands to really, and that's when we will see a big shift in spending of brand from other media into internet. Now that they can actually tell that story, I think another uh, critical component is, is a way to measure that engagement. Right? I mean, yeah. Whether it's it, it's valid or not, there are methods for TV which advertisers believe work. That's right. To to measure, you know, yep. Nielsen and or I don't know, you know, there's other companies that measure engagement and things. Yep. I mean, isn't that a critical component as well? It and it feels like it's missing still. Um, you know, it's getting better. Uh, you can now tie into Nielsen Home Scan. So actually, Mebo is able able to tie into Nielsen Home Scan. Um, you can also measure, you know, what is the click rate. So when you sell an impression and the click rate's almost nothing, right? You're just incented to run a ton of impressions, right? I'm going to put a thousand ads on my page. I'm getting paid. The click rate's almost nothing. That's pretty rough, right? Mm -hmm. But what we'll do is we'll only charge when someone actually clicks, and then what you're measuring is time. Right, and that's what you're also getting in television. Right, you know you're buying 30 seconds of attention, so our average is 45 to 60 seconds. 
right? Mm. So if an advertiser sees, oh, I got the average user to look at this for that much time, then they know they were able to make an impression.